Our headlines today, a message of unity. Joe Biden delivers his victory speech after winning the US presidential election, saying he wants to restore the soul of America. I pledge to be a president who seeks not to divide, but unify. Who doesn't see red states and blue states, only sees the United States. At a drive-in party, the president-elect was introduced to supporters by Kamala Harris, who will become the first female vice president. Donald Trump has again lashed out at the result on social media, with no sign that he is preparing to concede. Let's have a look at how the US papers have reacted to Joe Biden's victory. Here's the New York Times. It celebrates Kamala Harris's achievement in being the first female vice president. And they also feature the almost complete electoral map of the US. Don't forget projected results at this stage. The Washington Post shares a reminder on its front page that President Trump has yet to concede. And here's the New York Post. They say it's Joe time, with the paper reminding us all about the sheer scale of this election. It saw around 144 million votes, counted over more than five days. Mm, point you were making just before the weather, a huge turnout. Finally, a quick look at the west coast of America's reaction. This is the LA Times. They lead with the president-elect's call to end the era of demonisation. Another win for Marcus Rashford. Boris Johnson calls the footballer to announce new plans to tackle holiday hunger among children in England. You know, on the phone, he, he kept thanking me. Um, but then in the back of my mind, I'm like, it's, it's the, the, the families that, um, that deserve um, the U-turn. Back here in the UK, disadvantaged children in England will now be provided with free school meals during the holidays, despite MPs voting against the motion last month. The £400 million package of support comes after a successful campaign led by the footballer Marcus Rashford. Speaking exclusively to BBC Breakfast, he said he welcomed the news. The Queen wears a face mask for the first time in public as she visits Westminster Abbey ahead of Remembrance Sunday. The Queen has been seen in public wearing a mask for the first time during a commemorative ceremony for the Unknown Warrior at Westminster Abbey. The event was held ahead of Remembrance Sunday. Some scaled-back commemorations will take place today across the UK, but the public are being urged to observe at the two-minute silence at home. The annual service at the Cenotaph is going ahead later in a COVID-secure way. Freight drivers have been added to the list of people who must self-isolate upon arrival to the UK if they have travelled from or through Denmark. Millions of mink are being culled in the country after a mutated strain of coronavirus found on mink farms infected around 200 people. Flights and ferries between the UK and Denmark have been stopped and foreign visitors travelling from Denmark will be denied entry to the UK.